The Law of Attraction Quicksand. One of my favorite observationalists is the controversial guru, Teal Swan. She consistently manages to dig down into the basic fundamentals of most any cultural construct, assumption, or judgment. Kudos to Teal. Look her up on YouTube if you haven't already. Anyway, <clears throat> in one of her videos, she deconstructs the Law of Attraction. Most New Ager types or novices in the field of energy manifestation will know the law. And yet, few understand the sort of trap door that exists in the application of the law that could end one up deep in quicksand quagmire of self-doubt, depression, victimhood, and negativity. The unseen problem with this law is that we are dealing with two, count them, two, points where the universe is responding according to the law of attraction. Number one, your higher self or multidimensional self, and two, your temporal self experiencing itself in the physical body in this time-space three-dimensional linear timeline reality. This creates two completely different experiences. The higher self sees the big picture of the life stream it is living temporally, and the temporal self, down in the streets here, can see only the past and the now, with no ability to see the future outside of guesstimates, judgments, and, co and conclusions about what should be. The higher self sees the entire lifespan, with its growth opportunities and infinite potentials. The temporal self sees the present moment, with all its needs, desires, and logistics. Enter that pesky law of attraction that acts as a gigantic mirror of both selves, highest intentions, lowest desires, and temporal feelings. The universe reflects back to the embodied you what is your dominant temporal state of choices, responses, and feelings. Simultaneously, it reflects back to the higher self all the infinite possibilities it has available to it for the temporal self outside of time and space. This is a perfect setup for suffering for the temporal self. The temporal self usually has a whole raft of what it will deem acceptable and what is supposed to be. The higher self has no such viewpoint. It only sees the potentials for growth. So when these inevitable lessons of life come along, our responses to those lessons are reflected back to us on top of any actions we take, so you can end up in an endless loop of negative responses because the universe, per the law of attraction, is showing you more and more circumstances to match your negative responses to whatever the lesson is. Of course, to the higher self, nothing is wrong. All it sees is how you're progressing toward the highest expression of yourself. If we're not on board with that, then down into the quicksand quagmire we go. To the degree we are resisting the negativity that is teaching us or testing us is the degree those lessons will continue to be taught. The solution is to be in allowance of all perceived setbacks, letdowns, fears, and shouldn't be happenings. Be excited and inspired when these events and circumstances occur because you know in your heart that by allowing them and not judging them, they are changing you into a higher version of yourself. This response then takes away any necessity to repeat the unwanted or negative experience. The universe then reflects back circumstances of excitement and inspiration. As the comedian Bill Hicks famously observed, life is just a ride. The trick is being able to enjoy and appreciate both the ups and the downs. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy Rx. www.pureenergyrx.com.